guys, I did it. I finally did it. And I can officially share it with you. I published a book. Oh my gosh, guys, this has been something that I have been waiting to tell you for so long. If you follow me over on Teaching on the Double or my Instagram for the Letters Classroom or even here on YouTube channel, you know that I've been working on something since the summer of 2020, something really big that I wasn't able to share. This is it. This is the really big thing. I have written and published a book. It is called Jumpstart Learning in Your Kids. And I am so happy that I am finally able to put it out into the universe. I'm also just a little bit nervous because I really do hope that you guys are gonna like it. But in this video, what I decided that I wanted to do was one, announce the fact that I wrote a book Oh my word. Uh, but also to answer some questions that I kind of thought you might be asking. Uh, so I hope that these questions are going to be able to answer some of the things that you have going on in your brain right now. Uh, but if I don't answer everything, you're going to just leave it down in the comments. Okay, so let's jump into the first question. Question number one is what is the focus? The focus of this book is really to help parents understand how to support and encourage learning at home. Now, as a writing teacher, and for all my writing teachers out there, you're going to totally agree with me when it comes to this, but we teach our kids that when we start to sit down and we write, we have to write with a focus audience. And so when I started coming up with this idea, I really wanted to make sure that the focus audience was going to be parents. Um, because I knew deep down that not only parents were going to be able to uh, read this book and be able to take away a lot of really great information, but that also teachers could do the same thing, right? Um, so it is meant to help um, guide parents on how they can help their kids and encourage learning at home. What are some of those strategies, the tips, the ideas, all of the things that I've really felt as though has been important as an educator uh, to see kids be able to blossom and grow as learners and also as individuals. So the second question is, is this just for parents? Absolutely not. It is not just for parents. Here's the thing, guys. I am a teacher, but I am also a mom. And um, when I sat down and started kind of planning out the book in general, a lot of the lessons that I have learned about how to help my own boys have come from my experience as an educator and the research that I have done as an educator. And then I'm able to take all that information and put it back into my own two boys and apply it with them. So when we really sit down and think about it, when we become parents, they don't give us like a book, right? They don't say, hey, here's a little book. Here's how you're going to take care, keep your little human alive. Um, and this is also how you're going to help your human become super smart and want to learn and do well in school. They don't give you that information. Um, and I will be very honest with you. When I had Ian, I was a very young single mom and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to help him. It took me several years to really understand how I can help my boys at home with learning. So this is not just geared towards parents. In fact, I think a lot of teachers, it's going to be a really good reminder for those teachers. I think it's great for first year teachers who are going into education who just need to have a little bit of information of all right, so I know that I have to teach curriculum, but that's not the only part to teaching curriculum, right? That's not what we just do as teachers. We want to help help them grow as individuals. We want them to set goals. We want them to understand that learning does not just take place in the classroom. Learning is something that takes place in and out of the classroom. And what we do as teachers and what we do as educators is to help students make that connection. And so often uh, what I had found you know, in my very beginning years of teaching is that kids would go from school and they would see school as the learning place, but then they would never take that and apply that to home. So I think it's really important for us to help build those connections, to help bridge that gap, um, to create that little bridge for them so that they can see that, oh, here are the strategies that I'm learning at school. 
here's how I'm going to take them and apply them to other passions and interests that I have at home. So it's not just meant for parents. It's geared. It, I'm, I am talking to parents in, the, in my writing. However, it is meant for both parents and for educators. So the third question I came up with is why did I end up choosing this topic? So this past year, I think, played a really big role in why I decided to go with this topic. I have always been passionate about building leaders in their own learning, about building kids who have a desire and a want, a need to continue their education, not just in the classroom, but outside of the classroom. I don't want to be the sole provider of information for kids. I don't want to be the person that has to guide them. I want to create independent thinkers. I want to create kids who will argue their point, but argue it well. I want to create kids who will look at multiple perspectives. Um, and then I want to create kids who are just kind and good and um, that will try to set goals for themselves so that they can better themselves in the long run. Um, because that's what I want to do. You know, that's what I want for my own boys. And that's definitely what I want for my kids at school. And so I have always taken pride in the fact in my classroom, I allow kids to be thinkers. I am not going to be your sole provider of information. You are going to go through, you're going to have reasons for why you're finding information. You're going to back those reasons up. And so when I sat down and I really started thinking about this book overall, I knew that I needed it to be something that would relate to a lot of also what we've been dealing with this past year. Um, and that's with kids learning a lot more at home. My boys have been hybrid. They've been doing a lot of learning at home. So we've been trying to help and, and support that in so many different ways. And I know that there are a lot of other families that are out there. Um, and I know that I've had multiple conversations with families just over the course of my years of being a teacher of I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help them. You know, I'm frustrated. They're frustrated. What am I supposed to do to get them to want to be better? Um, and so I have taken my personal knowledge as just a mom and what I've experienced with my two very different little humans that I have. Um, and then also taken my information and everything that I've learned as an educator and I've combined the two into this book. So I give some personal stories. I also give lots of strategies and tips. Um, I make the reader aware of what I feel as though are the most important pieces. Um, it is what I have found to be a really integral part into creating kids who are going to value education and who are going to continue to try to grow in the future. So the fourth question is, what can parents and teachers take away from this book? And really there are three big sections within this text and there's multiple chapters that kind of break down all of the different components of these overarching ideas. And so the three ideas are understanding your child, also building independence, and then finally resources to support. And so when we really think about it, we have to really understand and know our children. Um, and I think that comes from, you know, just knowing them developmentally, knowing their passions, their interests, knowing how long they're going to take when it comes to learning something. And then all of that information is really going to help you as either a teacher or a parent be able to scaffold instruction for them, to be able to tailor the learning in order to fit their specific needs. Because we know that every single child is different. My two boys that I have, Blaine and Ian, they are very different individuals. They have different learning styles. They approach things different, different passions. And so learning is going to look very different for both of them. The same with the, you know, 20 kids that I have in my classroom right now. Learning is going to look very different for all of them. So it's important that we take time to understand each child. And so that's going to be the big takeaway from that 
that entire section. The second section is going to be building independence. And that's that whole idea of, okay, now, now that I know my kid, how can I really help to build that independence so that they can sit down and do a task? And so I talk about a lot about different strategies that you could be using, um, also different resources that you could be creating and using at home with your kids. And that's really just going to help to start kind of scaffold and say, hey, I'm going to help you in the beginning and then I'm going to push you off so that you can learn to do it on your own, right? It's like you're kind of taking care of a little baby bird until it's ready to fly off from the nest. Same idea. And then finally, we have the resources to support. I am not telling you that you have to just say, sit down, you're going to do the work and you're going to be done. Absolutely not. That's not how we approach learning at all. And so instead, what I'm going to do is give you a lot of resources that are really going to help to make kids feel successful so that when they go out to be independent, they have now learned strategies and resources and have tools to be able to be more independent. But we have to support them along the way. That's what parenting is. That's what being a teacher is. We support them until they're ready to be able to do it all by themselves. So the biggest thing, and here is what I have always believed about any conference, professional development, workshop, um, any video that you watch or take part in, is that at the end of whatever it is that you're watching or participating in, if you're able to come away with one really good idea and able to take that idea and implement it into you know, your everyday life and it has given you something back, I think it's successful. Okay, so the next question I have is what are the formats? How is it going to come? So it is going to be a paperback book. I did not want to do like a hard copy, like cover copy, because I felt as though as a teacher, I need something that's pretty light to place into my backpack. So it is going to come in a paperback. Um, it's also going to come out as a ebook. So you can find it on like Kindle. Um, and then finally, I also found out that we are going to be doing an audiobook. Um, so those are going to be your three formats that those are going to come out in. So right now the release date is april 21st my hope is that you will have that book in your hand on that date um so you can pre-order it right now so it is available for pre-order and i really hope that you guys go and take some time to look at you know the information the description of it look at the reviews on it uh, and check out the book it's over on amazon it's on barnes and noble um, i will definitely leave some links in the description box for you to go and check that out and it really does help any book that it just really helps with pre-orders um, i did not realize this when i was going through the process that pre-orders are so important but they are they're really important to the success of a book so I would love for you to take the time to go and check it out using those links um, and pre-order it. And hopefully I am able to help support you in some way with this material. So that is it guys. That is my book. Jumpstart learning in your kids. Let's do it. I am very excited. Um, and I would love to know if you have any other questions, if I didn't quite answer something the way um, that you were thinking of, leave them down in the comments. And um, yeah, I'm a little nervous. Okay, guys, here we go. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Bye.